Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Holy moly, I'm going to be ranking all the eyeshadow palettes that I tried this year. 2022, all my eyeshadow palettes, like I have acquired an insane amount guys, like I'm overwhelmed. This took a long time. It was so difficult because I am someone who I declutter lots. Like as soon as I get products in, like I don't like it, it's got to go. So honestly, I love all of these eyeshadow palettes. I love them. So this, this is going to be a long one. Um, so like I said, I have 60. So make sure you have a snack. Make sure you have a drink because it's going to be um, a long one. But let's just hang out and jump into it. So number 60. This one is from Huda Beauty. This is very recent and like palette to my collection. This is the Khaki Haze palette. I think the packaging is so pretty. Love this color story. And let me just start off by saying also that all these palettes were not released this year, but they're new to me. Anyways, I picked this up for $5 from Huda Beauty's Black Friday sales. $5? Heck yeah, I like this palette. It's fine. Um, I have lots of reviews on all these palettes, probably most of them. Um, but the, the matte formula takes forever to build up and the shimmers are just, eh, they're okay. You can get a beautiful look. It just takes some extra time. So I'm glad I got it for $5 though. Like that's a steal. Okay, coming in at number 59. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Baby Biba. Look how cute it is. Okay, this is a little trio. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But how can a three shadows compete with all of what I have in front of me? Like, it just can't. I do use this from time to time. And it's beautiful. And it looks good. And it's a good formula. But it's so little. And I have so many big, beautiful palettes in front of me. So, 59. But there's nothing wrong with any of these palettes, guys. This one is so difficult because they're all so good. 58. This is from Gourmand Girls. This is the Spectra palette. Look how fun this is. The only reason why this is so low is because I do not reach for these tones all the time. But the formula is amazing. It's so, so good. And I just wish I was more of like a color. Like I was like confident in color. But like this is kind of bold. <laughs> like I'll wear this sometimes whenever I need a fun pop and shade. But not all the time. So she's coming in at 58. Number 57. This one is from Natasha Denona. This is the, what are you called? The Sunset Palette. And this is very new to my collection, but I have used it several times because I just wanted to get a feel for the palette for, I don't know, this video. I'm just kind of, I've been wanting this palette for so, so long. Um, it's fine. It's nothing to rave over. The mattes, like, definitely like they're not like her newer midi size this is kind of like an outdated formula the shimmers are fine the mattes are fine but just not like a like a for like her newer palette you know and also my shimmers came cracked but i repressed them so coming in at number 56 this one is from anastasia beverly hills and this is the new vogue palette thank you everybody that has told me how to pronounce this because i always forget so new vogue are you proud of me oh let me know down below so i really like the color story i just don't reach for it all the time it's a fun formula i just sorry i have a dog here my dogs are in here and they just shook and hair went everywhere anyways i like the formula it's fun i think it is a step up from their previous palettes but um, other than like the primrose, oh my god, that one is so good. But yeah, I do like the formula. I just, I don't know, I don't reach for it. As you can see, like 60 palettes, I have a lot. <laughs> but it's still a fine formula. The color story speaks to you. I think you would like it. Let's see, coming in at number 55. This one is from Gourmand Girls. I don't know how to pronounce this and you can't make me even try. But look how pretty this is, like the packaging. I think Doodles by the Bunny, I think she designed it like the exterior i believe i don't see her name i'm pretty sure she did anyways this is what the inside looks like and the embossments are the, on the pans are so cute like the apple the eiffel tower it is adorable the reason why this is coming in lower is because i don't typically reach for reds they kind of scare me <laughs> they make me look um not the best but the formula is so good this has the softest mattes i have ever used i'm not even kidding they are incredible so Love the palette, love the brand, just not a color store I reach for all the time. Coming in at number 54, this one is from, what are you, what's this brand called? Beauty Bay? This is a dark fantasy palette. This is the first product I've ever purchased from the brand. 
and the reason why it's coming in lower just because i haven't reached i don't reach for it that often because i have so many palettes but i do enjoy the formula it's a lot like glam lights shimmers mattes are wonderful um i just i need to play with it more because when i got this i was so sick for two months straight every time my daughter came home i swear it was like we had a stomach bug and then we had like terrible just different bugs and nasty viruses so i didn't get to play with this as much but still really good palette um, and I enjoy the textures and I don't know the packaging is like on another level. I think it is so pretty. It's not expensive. I think I got this palette for like $12. If you hear a bell, my daughter just got home from school and she dressed up as Mrs. Claus and she's just ringing her bells. So I'm sorry if you hear bells in the background. I apologize. Coming in at number 53. This is from Lunar Beauty. This is the Moon Spill Volume 1 palette. I never reach for this. I got this second hand off Poshmark and I'm not reaching for it as much as I need to be, but the formula is great. It's just coming in lower because I don't reach for it all the time. I don't know why. I just, it's so pretty like I never want to touch it. Coming in at number 52, this is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Whistler Lodge palette. This is the very first palette I ever tried from the brand. Um, I'm not really like a blue person, so that's why I don't reach for this as often. But I love these greens, the neutrals. I love some of these browns. I love this like maroon and the pink. Oh, such a beautiful palette. And the packaging, it's one of my favorites. I love all the animals on it. It's just so, so beautiful. Perfect for the winter season. I have nothing but good things to say about this quality, the brand, packaging, all of it. It is such an experience when you order from Nomad. Coming in at number 51, this is from Natasha Denona. This is her mini Zendo palette, and I wanted this for so long, and I just had such high expectations. I'll say that I had another one as well, but this shimmer right here was just like a dud. It looks so beautiful, but there's no payoff whatsoever. It's like a really hardly pressed. The other shades are really good, but when you get a five pan and a four are good and one's a dud, it's like, come on. So... I like the palette, love the color story, but I'm sad that the shade I was most excited about, it's super sheer, so it's what it is. Number 50, this one is from ColourPop, and this is the brand new collaboration they did with Hocus Pocus, and I think the packaging, they like, nailed it. Oh, it's so good. This is like the good ColourPop formula. I love how you have so many fun pops, but you still have some neutrals to tie it in. I love how you have like a color story going this way. Just amazing. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't reach for these tones all the time, but definitely my favorite collab that they've done with ColourPop so far. So coming in at number 49, this is from Clarity Cosmetics. This is the first palette I've tried from the brand. I'm not big on the brand. I won't be repurchasing from them. But this is what the inside of the palette looks like. This is such a fragile formula. I have to be so careful with it so the shades don't come out or crack. But the matte formula is not my favorite. I love using this as a blush. I think that the only shimmer that like really knocked my socks off was this one, um, You Grow Girl. So it's a beautiful multi-chrome. It's like this beautiful green. You see that shift? It's intense. And I love the combination of oranges and purples. I love it. But I just, I don't reach for it all the time. So, because the mattes aren't my favorite. But still, like, I think that it's a beautiful palette regardless of how I feel about the brand. Number 48. This is from ColourPop. This is the Tinker Bell Sprinkle A Little Magic. I don't believe this is available anymore. They brought it back and I was so excited because one of my girls, she, I'll pop up her picture. She let me know that this was back in stock and I'm so excited. The formula is amazing. Color story is beautiful. I'm so happy that I was able to pick this one up. I cannot wait to reach for it all the time next spring. And let me just say, it has been cloudy and rainy for three weeks straight. I miss the sun, so when the summer comes and spring, I'm going to really appreciate the sun because I miss it. Number 47, this is from Pat McGrath. This is her mini palette that she launched this year. Um, what is the name of this? Um, Midnight Voyage, I think. That's what it looks like. The formula is great. This dark shade right here takes a little bit extra effort, but I think it's just so cute. I love the packaging. I love how you get a mirror with it. Nothing bad to say. I just have a lot of palettes in front of me, you know? So I definitely hope she continues to launch these because it's so, like, look at that. It's adorable. 
Anywho, number 46. This one is from Simply Posh Cosmetics, another new brand that I tried this year. This one was actually sent to me like mind-blowing, okay? This is the Genuine Gems palette, and look at this packaging. Oh, I love packaging, okay? It's like an experience, you know? This is what the inside looks like. I know, take a minute. It's so pretty. Uh, the sparkly shades, they are obviously sparkly, but they are duo crumbs as well. Very beautiful. Um, I don't reach for this all the time, but I do like the looks I get when I do reach for it. It's stunning. These shimmers are a little bit hard to press. I have another palette from them you'll hear about later, but these shimmers are just not as soft. They're still very pretty. Number 45, this one is from Blend Bunny. This is the All Done Up palette. I don't, the only reason why this is lower is because I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would. This is the color story. I typically don't reach for icy shimmers, and all of these are very icy, except for like the golds. But I don't know. I just, if this had different shimmers, I'd probably reach for it more. It is beautiful, great quality, just not my perfect shimmers because like I said I don't really reach for icy but these are so intense like are you kidding me blinding amazing formula it's just I don't know I'm not reaching for it it's not a palette issue it's a me issue number 44 this is from ColourPop this is the Star Wars Mandalorian like the child palette this is the packaging it is so so cute and this is what the inside looks like I love it this this formula is really good. This is the great, like the excellent ColourPop formula. And I just think that the greens and with the mix of neutrals in here, it just like speaks to me. I enjoy this one quite a lot. Number 43, this is from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the, I don't know how to say it, but this is the Province palette. And this is what the inside looks like. I can't bend it all the way. Okay, mine has an issue. So I don't know if you can see, like it's got some like, I don't know, it's like leaking. We're going to ignore that, but the formula is so good. I love the color story. They did. There's just something extra special about this quality. The shimmers in here is so, so good. They're just so pigmented and bright, and I just, I love this color story so, so much. Definitely a good one from Nomad to have. Coming in at number 42, this one is from Tarte. This is the Man Eater After Dark palette. Look how like sleek this packaging. It is super, super thin, but feels very luxurious. And this palette blew me away. I just, I'm not reaching for it that much because I've been so like obsessed with my indie palettes and I'm just not reaching for it as often. But this palette is just lovely. Like it is such, like Tarte has been off my radar for so long, but this is such an amazing quality. Like they're back on my radar now. So now I'm interested again. Um, I think it's beautiful. It's like a neutral, it's not boring, but it's like neutral with a twist, like neutral with some fun pops in here. So the mattes need a little bit of building up. They're not super opaque, but they're still very nice. You just like, especially the yellow, um, some of these darker tones, you just have to build up a little bit more. Uh, let's see, the shimmers are, whew, they are opaque, they are shining, they're popping, and especially like these two are extra sparkly. Some of them have different textures. That's what I love about this palette. You get so many textures. Yay, Tarte. Let's see more like this. I just, oh, it's so good. I need to use it more. I need to have like a bin of like palettes like use me. You know what I'm saying? All right, number 41. This is from Nomad. This is, what is this called? I don't know. Paradise Islands palette. That's what I'm going to call it. I think that this packaging, like, I love the ocean. I'm a beach girl. I live in Arkansas, and I'm so sad I don't have a beach to go to. But whenever I can, I try to go as many times as possible. So this is what the packaging looks like. Stunning. I just, oh, I like, I just want to live right here. And like my mom can live there. And then like when my daughter gets older, she can live there. You know, like this is our house. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the inside looks like. I love it. It is so fun, bold, popping. And whenever I go on vacation, I'm going to take this with me because, like, are you kidding me? I decluttered the Natasha Denona Tropical or Tropic Tropic palette because I had this, and this just screams to me. The shimmers are so beautiful. I love corals. I love greens. I love purples. And sometimes I like a fun pop of blue for fun. This formula is really good, and I really do enjoy this whenever I want a fun pop. 
I love this palette for summer. I used it so much last summer, so I can't wait to use it again. Just like this palette so special to me. It just makes me think of summer, and I miss the sun. Like, you might hear me say that a million times. I miss it so much. Number 40, this one is from Simply Posh Cosmetics. This is so, so beautiful. Okay, be ready. This is what the packaging looks like. Are you kidding me? Boom, look at this inside. I do not like pastels, but this palette is the only pastel palette I like. All the other palettes I end up getting, I declutter because this has super light shades and super deep shades and these shimmers stop it. They are so good, they are so shifty. Some of these greens and like this one goes to purple and blue. This blue goes to pinky purple. This coral is like pinky golden, just yummy. This purple goes to blue. It is so beautiful. I love this palette. The quality is amazing, especially these shades down here. They're extra squishy. I don't know why. what's wrong with me. I love a squishy formula, and these are so like extra textured. I love it. So, so amazing. This is the first palette I bought from the brand. It made me fall in love with their formula. Very, very excited to have tried that brand this year because it's amazing. The only reason why it's lower is because I don't reach for those tones all the time. I wish I did. The next one is from What's That Beauty. This is the only palette I own from them, but like, this is so, so good. I love how little and like compact it is. You get a beautiful mirror. The packaging is stunning. And look at this color story. It's amazing. The formula, the, the shimmers are so sparkly. And the mattes, they're like not the most pigmented, but like they're pigmented. Like the, it's a very beginner friendly formula. It's amazing. I just don't know why I don't reach for it as often as I did once I bought it. Because I just, I've had so many new palettes. This is a definitely a good one to have. I can't wait to see what else they come out with. Because this one like really just had me mesmerized for months. And I finally got it because I just I feel like I couldn't live without it. You know, I had to have it. And I'm definitely glad that I picked it up. It's such a nice palette, like travel. I never travel. What am I talking about? But if you were to travel, if you're someone who travels, I don't. It's too expensive to travel. It's a nice one to have. Let's see, coming in at number 38, I think. <laughs> this is from Natasha Denona. I have a few minis coming up because it's really hard to rank minis with your bigger palettes. But this is newer to my collection. This is a mini retro everybody raved about this for so so long so in my brain i had this so hyped up i was like this is gonna be the best formula i've ever touched it's gonna be amazing it's fine it's fine it's fine the shimmers i was expecting more but it's a good formula it just didn't blow me away so i think that is the issue because i've wanted it for so long that I hopped it up in my own head and when I got it I was like it's fine but it didn't change my life you know what I'm saying still a very beautiful soft rosy romantic palette to have number 37 this is from Natasha Denona this is the Biba palette I do not own the big Biba I own the mini and the baby <laughs> I actually tried to buy the big one and it went out of stock like went out of stock as I was checking out because I went to offers and I got extra stuff. If I would have just checked out, I would have had her. Anyways, I really do enjoy this quality. I wish we would have seen different variations in the mattes. Honestly, this palette leans a little pink, which really threw me off. But I don't know. I needed, I needed another shimmer. I'll say that. And I needed some different color mattes. But it's a really good palette, I will say. If these are your colors, if you like neutrals with a pinky twist... You will love this. And like you want to throw on a pinky champagne. This one is for you. Number 36. Let's see. This is the mini gold. No. Mini bronze palette from Natasha Denona. And I like this a lot. But you get the same look. So you have to like this look. <laughs> in order to like this palette. I do have the midi size. So this one was not necessary like I didn't have to have it but I really do love her mini so I picked it up and I'm so glad I did because I do like this formula as soon as I like I drove to Sephora which is almost an hour away came home ready to review it well to do a first impressions and I dropped and it broke <laughs> it's okay it's just like a little like beat up but it's still such an, a good it's just such a good formula they're so like the mattes are so creamy I think that her midi is better than her Sorry, let me rephrase that. I think her minis, 
have a better formula than some of her middies. You know, because the shimmers are just extra, like, buttery. Anyways, number 35. This one is from Gourmand Girls. This is the Spooked Palette in collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny. Look how awesome they did. Like, are you, look at that shit. Look at that shift. Oh, I could just look at this. Look at that. Oh, oh it's just so pretty. It's the little things. It's the little things. I actually, they sent me this palette. I wanted to say that. I was so excited. Um, the owner's lovely and the formula is so good. Like, look how blinding it is. I love this palette because look, neutrals, uh-huh, boom, color. Best of both worlds. The only reason why this one is coming in a little lower is because I don't reach for these all the time, but like fall and Halloween-y time. Are you kidding me? It is so, so good. There's just something like this shade Pumpkin. It's such a beautiful duochrome. It's orange and gold and green. It's a really good formula. They're just so creamy. I just, oh, it's so good. Coming in at number 34, this is from ColourPop. This is the Getting Fresh palette. I think the packaging is just, like I said, it's the little things. They get me every time. This is the only mega palette that I currently have in my collection. I really wanted Aurora Struck. But I'm on a December Nova, so she's going to have to wait. If I still want her in a few months, I'll pick it up. But right now, I'm like, I, I think I'm good. I think, I think 60 is good. You know, calm down, Brittany. This is what the inside looks like. Spring Dream, in my opinion. Uh, this shade broke, and I, re I put a different shade in here. I repressed um, an indie brand shimmer in here because my green broke. But other than that, like all these shades, you get a pink, green, or neutral look. But that's what I love about this palette. The formula is great. And it just, it makes me smile. And you have like this pretty brown, bluey du duochrome down here. I'm telling you, ColourPop really nailed it with this palette. So if you like the Megas, you will like that if you like that color story. Because the formula, it's good. No duds in that one. Number 33. This is from Pat McGrath. This is the Bridgerton first round collaboration that they did. Ah love this palette so much i love using these as blush as this is highlighter such a beautiful and this is one of her special shades right here it's a very good formula but i don't reach for pinky tones all the time so i think we needed a different variation this shimmer in here knocked my socks off so did this one this one's fun i think that these palettes are incredible it's just coming in a little lower because like I keep saying, I tried so many good palettes. Coming in at number 32, this is from Huda Beauty. This is the Empowered palette. I think that this quality is really good. Some of the shades enhance my texture on my lids, so I don't reach for it often. They're, they're so foiled, they just kind of make it look like wrinkly, you know, and it's like not the vibe I'm going for. I do like it. I just, I have to go in a very softly i can't like really pack it on the more i pack it on the more like enhanced the texture looks but other than that this palette is incredible i love all the different textures in here it's so so good a very high shine sparkly um but uh, overall you, can, you get very similar looks so that's why it's coming in a little lower number 31 this is from almost built my sprat like take a drink for me guys because I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Number whatever I just said. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. And this is the Hudson Valley palette. This is my favorite palette from the brand because of the colors in here. I love it so, so much. I think the mattes blend really well with one another. You can't layer, like, all of them on your face, you know? Like, you need to just, like, stick with a few and you'll get a beautiful look. You have three shimmers. I just love how it's divided. Warms and cools and shimmers. It's aesthetically pleasing. I really do like it so, so much. That's my neighbor's dog barking. He barks all the time. I guess I'm going to have to stop filming. Number 30. This is from Gourmand Girls. This is the Ethereal Palette. This packaging, like, are you kidding me? It just captured the vibe of this palette so well. So, A plus on the packaging. I'm just in love with it. Um, let's see. And this is what the inside looks like. He's barking again. Well, I guess I'll stop filming again. As I was saying, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Look how fun and shimmery. This palette is full of nothing but beautiful special shades. Dual chromes, multi chromes, just such an amazing formula. They're very um, soft, buttery, thick, pigmented. 
incredible shades right here just magical i love it so so much i just don't reach for it all the time because it's all shimmer so i have to like think like i have to do mattes and then go into this but the quality is exceptional it is so so good coming in at number 29 this one is from pat mcgrath this is the bridgerton second collaboration i love this palette so so much it's so pretty this is what the inside looks like this palette would be really really high up if there were two different mattes or maybe one different matte um but it's still beautiful formula you get some special shades the shimmers are beautiful nothing bad to say about this palette just like i said if the mattes were different because it's so close to the first one this palette would be way way high i just i really do love it and it just it's so special to me for many different reasons but i really do enjoy this palette and it just makes me happy Number 28, this one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I got like mascara on that, just ignore that. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek, nice. The name of it's Rose Metals. That's what the inside looks like. I don't reach for it all the time. And honestly, all the looks can get similar. They're very dark. The mattes are dark is what I'm saying. They're very similar in tone. Like they're very dusty, rosy, mauvey tones. So before you get this palette, it's very easy to just buy into the hype. But just make sure you like these mattes because your looks will be very similar. And make sure you like dark shimmers because this is the only light shade you have. But all the others, it's pretty dark, deep, but still very beautiful. I just don't use it all the time. Coming in number 27. This is from Glam Light. This is in collaboration with Michaela. This is the 10 pan palette. I didn't get the bigger one just because like I don't need all those colors. I don't wear blues all the time. But this one is so beautiful for well, all year round, but especially fall winter vibes. Just so beautiful. Like Christmassy. Oh, I love this shimmer right here. I love the Glam Light formula. They have that soft, squishy, very shimmery formula. And the mattes are very beautiful. And I feel like every time Glam Light comes out with a palette that I try personally, it's better than the previous. The mattes are just extra pigmented. They blend well. Definitely a good one. Because I gave my daughter like the big Michaela palette, like the first collaboration. This is just a better formula, in my opinion. There's my post-it note. <laughs> Coming in at number 24. No, 26, I believe. This is from unearthly cosmetics this is the lore palette and this is what the pack or the packaging is really big in my opinion like the pans i mean uh it's it, i just wasn't expecting it but i love it because i can dip like a face brush in here and use these shades as blush or as highlighter very beautiful formula um this would be higher up if it wasn't like two orange shades just because in a nine pan i feel like you need more but the quality is amazing this is the only I actually have a palette that I own from the brand, but I want more because it's so beautiful. I love the, just the quality. They're, they're beautiful duochromes. Do you see that? How intense they are. Oh, I enjoy this palette. And I love a big pan. What can I say? Coming in at number 25 is from Natasha Denona. This is the My Dream palette. I think that the packaging is so beautiful. It's cute. I don't know. It's just something different. That's what I like. I like to see brands switching it up changing it up it's very dirty i do really like this one don't use it all the time i really like this beautiful multi-chrome down here it's purpley and greeny just it's so lovely i really do enjoy it. it's quite lovely anyways i do like how pigmented it's just a very dark like i don't know it's a sexy palette you know what i'm saying like it's just a pretty Every day, but like amped up for not Tom palette. I just, I don't reach for it all the time, but the formula is amazing. Coming in at number 24, this one is from Odinza. This is the Soul Main 2 palette, and this packaging, this entire collection knocked my socks off. It was so, so good. Um, and this is what the color story looks like. I don't reach for blues, like these deep blues all the time, but I love all of these shades. I love the combination of orange and purple. It's so beautiful. Um, I think that the shimmers are so lovely. They're sparkly. Some of them are. Well, in this palette, they're not really that shifty, but they are sparkly, and the mattes are really lovely. I don't really like pastel palettes, but this one is kind of like, it's like fun because it's got deep shades, you know? So, really good formula. I love Odin's Eye. I've, I think I have, what, three palettes from them, and I can't wait to add more to my collection because they are a brand. I really enjoy. For 23, this is the Natasha Denona Star Palette. This is a little newer to my collection, but the, like it's so 
it's just you can get so many different colors within a little five pan like you can go green or like champagne or like this pretty duochrome bluey purple I don't know it's like got a perfect transition a deepening up shade and you get so many options for shimmers all within a five pan so definitely like it's really good um let's see I think that this one is a little bit harder pressed shimmer than these two but I think that the quality is good and I've been wearing it a lot honestly I really do like it coming in at number 22 this is from Adept Cosmetics I could do a ranking of Adept Cosmetics if you'd be interested in because I've been really putting that off but but this is the Plain Jane Remastered Palette it's literally a palette full of sparkly beautiful shifty goodness in here and that's why it's a little bit lower just because there's no mattes in here but it's so so good the only flaw to me these two shades are this shade and this shade are extremely similar that's my only critique it's such a lovely formula oh, they're just so so good not my favorite palette from the brand but still i really do enjoy it i think i just dug my finger in the shadow yep i sure did number 21 this is from nars and this is the summer unrated palette this is the only palette that I own from NARS, but I was pleasantly surprised. This is what the inside looks like. I think it's limited edition. They really do just, like stick to limited edition products, but this is so, so good. The last time I checked, it was still on the website. This is perfect for everyday. Like if you're a neutral lover, are you kidding me? I wore this like constantly at the end of summer, I think, like the last and going into fall. I love it so, so much. The shimmers are amazing and the mattes are very buildable pigmented um just oh, i just love these like neutrals with peachy tones in here i cannot get enough of this palette so coming in at number 20 is omnet and this is the light version this one was sent to me this was my first pr product ever like are you kidding me i'm not like on the pr list i just think they sent it to me because they know i love like i really do enjoy their palettes and stuff but because i don't get everything but they did send me this one and it is so dark and yummy and beautiful perfect for the fall times winter times i really enjoy it it's just like mm, with this palette you get beautiful green looks you get this like the shade right here it is blue it's like a white base with like blue and green it's just so so pretty but yeah i just love the purples and the pinks this shade right here it's like white but i'm telling you if you layer this on a deeper shade it like pops like a super bold pink magical lovely really good formula the mattes are very light you have to build them up quite a lot whereas in the heather austin palette you'll see that soon you know anyways those mattes are like really pigmented whereas these other than this shade, I kind of had to build them up more than usual. So, that's my only critique is that the mattes had to build them up. But this packaging, like, oh, stop. This palette is so special to me. It's just, oh, I love it. So, so happy. So, number 19. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Retro Glam Palette. So, this is her newest midi size, right? Yeah. Um... I like this palette. I really do. I think that the quality is so good. Well, it's like standard for Natasha Denona. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. It's just a very light to mid tone. And a lot of, you get like a pink look or a green look. There's not much like variation or like you could do more of like a grayish look. Not my favorite because it doesn't go deep. You're just kind of stuck, but I love it. Every time I wear this palette, I am obsessed with the look. So if you like these tones of green, they all kind of look very similar on your lid. If you like that shade of green, then you will like this palette. So definitely, it's a good one. But is it necessary? No, if you don't like this color story, because you're not going to get like a whole bunch of looks for the price point. That's like the only like, eh, it's, it's really expensive. So like, do I recommend it? Only if you like this color of green, because you're kind of limited. And it's really expensive, but the packaging's cute. Formula is amazing. Just, I just, it was like here it needs, it just, it was almost there. You know what I'm saying? Coming in at number nine, no, number 18. This is from Pat McGrath Labs. This is her newest mothership. I won this in a giveaway. Did not buy this. I was going to, but not when it launched because I was going to wait for a sale. Never buy anything from Pat McGrath for full price. Unless it's limited edition and you need it now and you're scared that it's going to sell out. 
because she always has amazing sales on her website but this is moon lit seduction and it is so pretty um the p the only reason why this is lower and not super super high because i feel like other than this special shade right here you get your gold your silvers and your pinks but like it's all kind of similar once you get it on your eyes um very like neutral but not boring just like amped up neutrals so you get silvers champagnes and then like this fun you know shade right here other than this gold so i um, kind of wish there was more variety of shades and the mattes you're kind of limited these two are very similar when you get them on the lid and i do love this one so i don't know i wish we could just like get rid of one of these pinky ones and put a different shimmer or a different matte in to kind of help get more different looks but it's a really good palette formula is great just it was here could have been here though you know but I'm so grateful for this and I really do love it. This shade, the duo chrome, multi chrome, whatever chrome, I love it. It's just so, so pretty. Every time I reach for this palette, typically I'll put that duo chrome on my eyes. Number 17, this is from Lunar Beauty. This is the Nude Prism palette. I own this from him and then the Moonspell Volume 1. I'm probably going to declutter the Moonspell just because I never use it. It shouldn't just sit in my collection. Someone else would get better love. Anyways, this is the Nude Prism. Packaging is lovely, as always, with Lunar Beauty products. You get a big palette. Uh, like, if you're a neutral lover, you're going to love this. But it kind of leans more pinky. It's Yeah, you can get a neutral look if you stick with the brown. But a lot of these lean more pinky. But the shimmers are so pretty. They're very similar to a Super Shock, but not as wet. But very, you know, about the same shine level. Such a beautiful palette. I love neutral look so of course this is going to be on up number 16 is from adept cosmetics this is the nin hydran palette and i believe yes they sent me this and i was like are you kidding me <laughs> i'm so excited packaging at 10 out of 10 like if you can see like look how pretty that is like the nin hydran oh, i love it it's the little things okay this is my inside looks like a very very intense special shifty sparkly shades in this one like you get like multi chromes in here like just oh, just incredible for me like out of this world and we have two mattes and i'm super excited it's like a plummy mauvey purpley gray shade and then a green grungy shade that's all i need all i need a matte and special shimmers and you have my heart so coming in at number 15 this is from natasha denona this is the mini gold palette I cannot wait until she releases a midi gold. I got the bigger one and then this one. She needs to come out with it. You know what I'm saying? We all want it. We are all telling her to come out with it. Anyways, this little mini is so, so lovely. You get so many different shades, but then one little five pan palette formula is so, so good. Just, I could just talk for days about this palette. It's amazing. It really is. If you like a mini palette and you love greens and golds, Ah, I think you should check this one out because I love olive green. Every skin color like just looks good in an olive green, you know, in my opinion. Number 14 is another one from Natasha Denona. Is this the last one from her? I think it is. Don't call me, but I think it is. This is the Trio Chrome palette. This is newer to me. This packaging, like, I don't think I was really prepared for how beautiful this packaging is. You can, I don't know why it's all dirty. I've been using the heck out of it, but it's like purple. You see that? And it goes green and blue. It's an amazing packaging. Like I wish more brands would come out with this. Cause like my brain's like, boom, fascinated the packaging though. Like oh, I could just talk for days about this. Okay. I don't know why it fascinates me so, so much. I have been mixing and matching this palette with all my palettes because these matte, this is the main reason why I got this palette. One, Obviously, it's not new. I've been waiting and waiting for her to come out with either a mini or midi, and it just wasn't happening. So, I finally got it when it was on sale because these mattes, I just could not get them off my mind. They're amazing. I love the greens. I love purples, and I love these peaches with some neutral. Just, I love it. I cannot help it. And the shimmers, like, don't buy this palette for shimmer shades. Buy it because you love the matte shades because the shimmers, this multi-chrome and this multi-chrome... It's, they're pretty, but this one's kind of just like, meh. It's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like a super shifty, strong, intense one. So, I love this palette. I can't get enough of it. I have been mixing this with so many palettes. The mattes are just like, 
it's, it's a step up from her normal matte formula. It's just a step up. So I just love it. I'm really impressed with it. The shimmers are, they're nice, but I'm very pleased with this palette. It's just so nice to mix this with like a neutral palette or mix this with my indie shades or single shadows. Just, I was so impressed like with the packaging and the matte formula. They're so blendable, pigmented, buttery, soft. A plus. So, so good. Number 13, this is from Glaminatrix. This is a the first palette I've ever tried from the brand. And this is a nearly natural. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I always get so confused. I want to say neutral, but it's nearly natural. This is what the packaging looks like. Another palette that Doodles by the Bunny designed. Like, look at this packaging. She's so she's a genius. This is what the inside looks like. A neutral girl lover's dream. Perfect wedding palette. Perfect work palette every day. But the shimmers are really intense. Or some of them are sparkly. Just, are you kidding me? It's amazing. The matte formula is good. Very buildable. Blends very well. I love how you get different tones. You get a green, grays, the dark shade, the browns, the mauvies, everything. You could, this palette is, if you are a neutral girl, this has everything you could possibly want. Similar to the Lunar Beauty. But this one leans, sorry, my sticky note. <laughs> my dog actually liked that, so it looks nasty. Let me just get that off. This leans very pink, but this has like, you could just get such like of a variety of looks with it. But it was a long... I think this was a pre-order or something it took a long long time to ship to me i think it was three months so that's why i haven't bought anything else from the brand but just because i'm impatient but she was worth the wait i'm happy that i have this but i'm just not the person that can do pre-orders it's just not for me but i am glad that i have that palette because i love it so so much and coming in at number 12 this is from odin's eye this is the hella palette with collaboration with angelica nikvis probably butchered that i don't know she says it so beautifully i'm like will you just slow down so i can like like i need to hear your name better angie how lovely is this palette the color store is so fun this is my first palette from uh odin's eye cosmetics and it's like a really green heavy some of the greens look similar but oh, i'm telling you that's the only like thing i would change about this is the greens are just some of them are a little similar when you get them on but these multi this multi-chrome it's like red base and it has gold and orange it is so pretty. River is one of my favorite eyeshadows in my for in my in my eyeshadow palette collection. It's so lovely. My dog's name is River too, so nice touch. I love the peachy tone. Honestly, this is more like I don't know neutral when you get on the. I love this palette. Quality is amazing, and every time they come out with a palette, I just I love it so much. So definitely, such a beautiful palette. I don't think this is no longer available, but it was available for a long time. So such a good one to have and just like if i'm feeling like a green mode i will oh this and the heather austin palette oh they are just a match made in heaven and it's so funny because they're actually friends so <laughs> i love mixing their palettes together coming in at number are we on number 11 i think we are hopefully i didn't lose count this is from adept cosmetics this is the minka palette newest baby to their collection this is what the inside looks like. Be prepared for shimmer, shine, sparkle, glitz, glam. The most intense shimmers I have in my collection. These are not glitters. They have stated that. These are shimmers. If you want to impress with glitter on your, or shimmer on your lids, get this one. Because you will not be impressed. And it takes just these one touch and you're, you're good to go. And then you get two really smooth multi-chromes down here. They are lovely. But they're just like, this formula is a very squishy, almost wet feeling. And you get two lovely mattes. And they're very um, sheer. You have to build them up. But the, the shimmers are just like, oh my god, they're so good. I mainly reach for this one to like top on a look for an extra like, like little pump it up, you know. But I'm telling you, there's something so special about this palette. If you love to shine, you need this in your life. Like, it is so, so lovely. Okay. We are in the top 10 now. So coming in at number 10, this is another one from Pat McGrath. This is the Bronze Seduction Palette. Sorry, it's probably loud. Let me get her out. Okay, I wish she going forward would, instead of just black, like make this bronze, because Bronze Seduction, make um, Moonlight Seduction, maybe like silver or something. I don't know. 
because the packaging I get it I get it it is what it is. it's just personal preference anyways the palette oh I love this so so much I hear some people have difficulty with the matte shades I don't I bet when I go in with her mattes I just go boop just a bare touch if you go into this you're gonna be like whoa too much pigment so if you just start with a little they blend really good with one another I haven't had any problems with blending and these special shades they're very good I almost didn't get this palette for the longest time because of this red and it's like my favorite red I love this palette so much in the summer or like date night every time I wear this I get so many compliments I just love it and like oh, it's just so sparkly and lovely I really do enjoy this and it's like you can go neutral like if you just go into like let's see this shade or this shade or this gold or you could spice it up you know amp it up for date night anyways love this one so so much coming in at number nine oh my gosh it's from natasha denona i said don't quote me okay i didn't see you i'm sorry i forgot about you this is the metropolis palette is this new no but it's new to me i got this this year and i am in love it's all the earthy tones you could ever want i could just look at this palette all day and it blends so well lovely matte formula lovely shimmer shimmer i don't even know what i just said excellent mattes excellent shimmers oh, just i'm not encouraging you to buy it just saying it's so so good and i don't think i don't even know if this is available she comes and she goes can we get a midi size of this like yesterday you know um alter ego has a dupe palette for this i did i used to own it i tried the gold one they have a good formula if you can't get your hands on it you need this color story but just I love it and it's just it's so iconic I just oh, I'm so happy this is the most expensive makeup product I've ever purchased when I bought it I've literally felt sick to my stomach because I was like I can't believe I just spent that on an eyeshadow palette everything else I try to get on sale or it's not a, a lot of money <laughs> my husband was like oh my god the makeup is expensive number eight this is from Cindy Grace this is the tiny Marvels palette in collaboration with Mel Thompson. I picked this up this year. They restock it periodically and it is so special one because it's Mel's palette. This is also the first palette I tried from Sydney Grace. I fell in love with their formula. Their matte formula reminds me a lot of Natasha Denona. It's a very smooth, creamy, easy to blend. That's what I need in a matte. I need it pigmented, easy to blend, no fuss. The shimmers are really metallic. They're not sparkle. They're just really like popping, you know? such a good formula beautiful color story and it smells palette so it's just so so special to me coming in at number seven palettes are falling <laughs> this is from pat mcgrath this is the utopian dream palette let me just undo this palette get her out could you imagine if this was purple instead of black all of our minds would have been blown you know what i'm saying um, I have makeup on it. I use this quite often. This is what the inside looks like. Very pinky, few neutrals with some fun shimmers. You've all seen this palette. This is my favorite. Is it? I think it's my favorite Pat McGrath palette. I love it. This is my first one like mothership I had from her and it's so special to me. I love it. These two shades right here are just, oh, they're lovely. They're like extra. They're amped up. This and the Moon Lit Seduction, those two are just like a step up from her other motherships. I've tried a lot of them, but I decluttered a lot of them. But these stuck around for a good reason. I really do enjoy it. I'm so happy I have it. Coming in at number six, I have two palettes, but I'm ranking them as one. This is from, wait, is this, oh, it has the same front and back, all right? This is from Give Me Glow. This is the Not Laugh Coral, Not Laugh what is this I don't know but I have mixed and matched bought my own singles so it doesn't look like the coral palette anymore <laughs> I've mixed and matched my own green and peachy color story I love these shades it's blushes too are you kidding me and then this is like my newest one I've been obsessed with um, I mixed and matched this one I cannot like the shade is xenon oh this formula is so so good uh, <clears throat> excuse me party monster if you want to know any of these shades i'll let you know just message me or something but these are the singles that i currently own from give me glow and they are quickly becoming one of my favorite brands 
they have a drier formula. I don't mean that in a bad way. They're just not creamy, but it doesn't affect the formula. It is so good. Blendable, pigmented, sparkly, shifty, you name it. I love it. And I love how big the pans are because I can dip into them for blushes. And I love how you can customize it. Just lovely. My only regret is not getting more on Black Friday because I think they were like 30% off. I've had the coral palette for a while, but when I got all my singles, I mixed and matched. And I've just been playing in it because I love them so much. We are in the top five. Okay. This is from Odin's Eye. This is a Merry Christmas palette. Discontinued. Why? Make a pre-order so everyone can get them. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. These shades, the shimmers, I'm telling you, every time they create a new palette, it's just a step up from the previous. The shimmers are extra sparkly. They're extra shifty. The mattes are so pigmented, blendable, beautiful. I love how it's like greens and then you get... I don't know if I could do it. And then warms. Like, oh, it's just lovely. And then you mix them all together. I literally challenged myself. I used every single shade on my eyes, or in the palette on my eyes, and it was so pretty. If you mix, like, the green with this shade, you get a brown with this neutral -y shade. It's so good. I love this palette. And I use it all the time. And I have also mixed this with my Natasha Denona palettes. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So, coming in at number four, this is from Adept Cosmetics. This is the House of L palette. I cannot get enough of this palette. It is so special. <laughs> Knock my socks off. And this is what the inside looks like. It is so, like, yes, the mattes are beautiful. I love this one as a blush. But, like, the shimmers are the star of this show. They're so shifty, sparkly, yummy goodness. I cannot get enough of this palette. I use this mix and match it with all of them it might even be out of order because i mix it all the time but regardless it's so beautiful i don't know if this is still available they brought it back i don't know but it's a good one to have and it is just it's on another level like there's some palettes where you're just like wow you really did that you know so coming in at number three this is from huda beauty this is a very new to my collection this is the rose quartz cannot stop using this palette this is what the inside looks like. It's not new. It's new to me. And it is so beautiful, dreamy, romantic, lovely, perfect for every day. I love purples. I love neutrals. I love pinky tones. Are you kidding me? Every time I use this palette, I just love it. And this shade that no one likes, that I love, I use it as eyeshadow base. And the shimmers really stick to my lid all day. I love this palette. I'm not going to talk about it too often because everyone already knows about it. But look at this packaging. Look at that. Like, I, want, I know she only releases one a year, but could you imagine if she did, like, I don't know, a stone collection, a birthstone collection, just, I don't know, geode collection or any collection. Just, I need more than one a year. You know what I'm saying? So, so good. I'm going to stop talking about it now. Coming in at number two, it's technically three palettes, but I ranked them all together because they're so, so good. Okay, these are from Fantasy Cosmetica. This is a brand I tried this year. If I had to rank them, this one goes first, that would be second, and that would be last. But we're going to jump into it. So the Bard palette is a beautiful fall color story. The mattes are good. They're not like, oh my god, the best matte I've ever used, but they're fine, you know? They're beautiful and unique. The shimmers are shifty, sparkly, beautiful, squishy, just everything I love. This is the Sorcerer palette very pop and bold <laughs> very out of my comfort zone but i normally will reach for the purple or mix the pink and blue to make purple i don't know it just every time i get a look with this palette i'm like oh, stop it is so pretty and it's like those shimmers man they're just so yummy and like squishy and just pop and sparkly sorry that was probably loud and then my number one from them this is the druid palette i cannot with this like Yes, these two mattes are too similar in my opinion. That's the only thing I would fix about this palette. But I love it. It's so good. Now, the mattes take a little bit of building up. They're not my favorite mattes, but the shimmers make up for it. And the mattes do look good. They blend well. You just have to kind of work at it a little bit. But I can't wait to get this brand. I'm very loyal to this brand. Like, almost anything they come out with, I'm going to be buying. Because I love it so much. I could just look at this all day. It's so, so pretty. So, definitely... A newer to me brand but like obsessed so I'm just so glad that I tried it because 
It's amazing. It really is. And I have an affiliate code with them now. It's Brittany Ray and Adept. And now we're moving on to my first, my top, top palette. Can you guess it? Sure you can, if you're familiar with my channel. This is the Heather Austin palette from Adept. This started it all. This is what the color story looks like. And I hit pan on the shade, the shade, and the shade. The mattes, they're just perfect for me. I really do enjoy it. And the shimmers are sparkly and shifty, squishy. I've, you know, repeating myself. They have just like my favorite formula. So lovely. I have nothing but good things to say about this. I'm wearing it today. I'll wear it all the time and I mix and match it with all these palettes because I just need this palette all the time. Every time I do a makeup look, I'm like, I just want to pop into the Heather Austin palette for this shade or that shade, you know? It just adds that touch that I need. Kind of like the mink, it just adds an extra pop. Anyways, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Those are my top. Those are all my ranking for this year. All 60 palettes that I tried. Obviously not including palettes I decluttered, but let me know down in the comments what was your favorite palette that you tried this year. There were so many good launches. Like I only have probably like 10 to 20 palettes and then all of these I added this year. <laughs> like oh my gosh. Anyways, let me know what's your number one palette or top five. But that's going to do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.